This is the first part of the three-part orientation videos for students in Moral Issues Today in fall of 2020 at Canisius College with me, Dr. Nancy Rourke. Uh, the first part of this video will talk about what the course is about and how it will work and how you can get in touch with me. What is the course about? This is an introduction course that covers topics of Catholic ethics. So we begin with a refresher in um, understanding the basics of Christianity as a religion and the basics of what Catholic versions of Christianity focus on, meaning mostly belief systems. So it's an introduction or a refresher in Catholic theology. And you would have had a little bit of this in RST 101, the Intro to Religious Studies course, which you took at some point, probably your first year, or an equivalent that Canisius gave you credit for. But it was a while ago, and I'm not going to assume that you remember any of it, really. So we'll spend the first three weeks refreshing and maybe breaking some new ground in that topic. After that, we get into the theories that are used in Catholic moral theology or Catholic ethics. How is the course going to work? Students have three different options for how to manage this course. If you want, you can take it as a 100% online course. That is, if you don't want to have any face-to-face -face meetings and you don't even want to come to campus, that can work for students. That's one option. The second option is to be on campus and attend class meetings and refer to the assignments and the course material and the drop boxes and the grades that all will be also online. That's one option. The third option is to say that you would like to take the course in a traditional way, going and joining face-to-face -face classes whenever they are offered, but then maybe you'll change your mind at some point for whatever reason and switch over to just taking it as an online student. That's another option. So this course will be offering uh, in-person class meetings in accordance with its regular official schedule. You should have gotten an email from me already that tells you what cohort you belong to, either the Lions or the Eagles. And in the syllabus uh, on page three, there is an explanation about how in-person class meetings will work. We won't have in-person class meetings every week. We will have them the first week unless something happens and Canisius needs to pull the plug on face-to-face -face meetings. And we will on other weeks as well. Every week there will either be in-person class meetings offered for students who would like to be there for that or a live synchronous Zoom lecture. I will never give lectures in our face-to-face -face class meetings. Class meetings in person will be reserved for workshop types of efforts. That is to say, we'll work on the reading questions or some kind of an assignment or exercise meant to help us, you know, ingest the material further or put it to use or look at it from a particular angle. If I can, I will record those meetings, but I'm not certain that I will be able to. So they're not required. They'll never be required. But for students who would rather learn in that kind of a situation, as often as I can, I will offer that as an option. Half of the class will meet in the Thursday session, half of it will meet on the Tuesday session, and both of those sessions will have the same lesson plan. When there is a lecture, we will have a live Zoom record a uh, meeting in uh, synchronously and those will happen on either Tuesday or Thursday one time during the week at our usual meeting time. When that happens, you know, there'll be announcements in an email and D2L will tell you that it's one of those weeks. And on the course syllabus in the course schedule, there are already at least a couple of those noted and I might add more as we go. I'm not sure. We'll see how the semester goes. The third part of this first orientation video is to talk about how to get in touch with me if you need to. I will have office hours. Uh, those are posted in the syllabus and on desire to learn. And there always will be virtual office hours. We can't meet in person because my office is too small to have me plus another person, unfortunately. Uh, so they'll all be hosted during Zoom. 
uh, during my office hours, you're welcome to sort of click on the link and show up and talk to me. But if you want, you can make an appointment. I have a, an appointment scheduling program that I use. It's called Calendly. And I've provided you the link that you need to click on in order to request a time to meet with me. You also can email me. I ask that if you have any questions about the course in general, that your first recourse is to post your question on Desire to Learn in the discussion board that I've called the Course Cafe. That way, if another student knows the answer, they can answer it before I get to it. And if it's a question that you have, it's probably a question that other students will have. And then others can see the answer, which will save all of us a little bit of extra emailing. That also serves as an archive of the questions and the answers that all of us can refer to. And there's a lot to remember, so I think that'll be useful. So that was the first of the three videos that serve as an orientation to this course. The second video will talk about grades, grading, and what assignments there are in the course. And the third video will describe the weekly routine that you can expect to face through the semester with this class.